welcome back to a new episode on chemistry made easy with bright edo in today's video lesson i'll be teaching on calculations involving water of crystallization you know basically some compounds possess water of crystallization so in today's lesson we'll be learning on how to calculate the value for the water of crystallization seen in a compound for example this is a compound that possesses water of crystallization Let's say this is CuSO4.5H2O. Okay, this is CuSO4.5H2O. So basically, what is the number of moles of the water of crystallization? This is the value. Okay, so in today's lesson, because we have experts in exam conditions whereby we can be asked to calculate the number of moles seen in a compound basically that has water of crystallization. This is the water of crystallization. And basically, this compound is called blue vitriol. Okay, this compound is called a blue vitriol. And basically, it is an efflorescent compound. Because a fluorescent compound basically are compounds possessing the water of crystallization. Now, what formula do we use to solve problems pertaining to this aspect? So, to calculate the number of moles seen in a compound, again, water of crystallization is basically, we call it X. You can call it any symbol, it can be N, Y, Z, any of the symbol you prefer. So I will call it X is equal to M O A into bracket H minus A over 18A. So the question you asked me. What is MOA? It is a symbol. So basically, it is molar mass. MOA here means molar mass of an hydrogen pound. Now, what is H? H means mass of hydrated compound. That is mass of the hydrated compound. And what is A? A means mass of an hydrous compound. Now I'll explain. It must be noted that an anhydrous compound is a compound that don't bear water of crystallization. An hydrated compound is a compound that possesses water of crystallization. What do I mean? You can see this compound here. Now, this compound alone, removing the water of crystallization, is the anhydrous compound. But putting the water of crystallization to this compound is the hydrated compound. Hydrated it means there's water. Anhydrous without water. So, removing this, only this is the anhydrous compound. So, this is the formula we use to solve problems pertaining to this aspect. Now you can see MOA means molar mass of an hydrous compound. So basically what they're asking us to so if we were to calculate the molar mass when solving the question now, which we'll solve soon, you just calculate the molar mass of this part, this part of the compound, not the water, only this part because it is molar mass of anhydrous. Anhydrous is without water. So you can see this formula is very, very important when solving problems under the calculating number of moles seen in a compound being water of crystallization. Now, let's quickly do that. Okay, now let's quickly move over to the first question. The question says 2.5 grams of an hydrated salt gave on eating 2.13 grams of the anhydrous salt. Given that the molar mass of the anhydrous salt is 208, Calculate the number of molecules of water of crystallization of the barium salt. So, this question is actually very easy. First of all, we are to remember the formula I gave, and it is X is equal to MOA into H minus A all over 18A. Now, recall, I told you that MOA is molar mass of and hydrous salt. You can just see they gave us in the question the molar mass of the anhydrous salt is 208. So what will be MOA, which is molar mass of anhydrous salt, becomes 208. So what is H? H is mass of hydrated salt. Look at the first line 
2.5 grams of an hydrated salt. So this is the mass of the hydrated salt. 2.5 grams of the hydrated salt. And this is A. What is A? An hydrosalt mass. So what is the mass of the hydrosalt? It is 2.13 grams. So basically, let's input parameter. X becomes MOA 208 into 2.5 minus 2.13. Close the brackets over. 18 into 2.13, which is A still. So basically, X becomes 208 into bracket 0 0.37 over. So what is 18 times 2.13? 18 times 2.13, that is 38.34. So what is 208 times 0 0.37? 208 times 0 0.37, that is 76.96. So basically here is 76.96 over 38.34. What becomes the value of x? So answer over 38.34. So when I hit that calculator, we get the number of molecules of water crystallization to be 2.0. 073. So from our option, what will be our answer? Option D, because the answer is 2.0073. Now you can see now to solve problems under this aspect is very, very easy. Now let's quickly move over to the second example to make us understand this concept better. Now let's quickly move over to the second example. Now the question says 10 grams of an hydrated salt. Gave on eating 6.12 grams of the anhydrous salt. Given that the molar mass of the anhydrous salt is 142, calculate the number of molecules of the water crystallization of the salt. So they are asking us to simply get X. Recall X is basically MOA into bracket H minus A over 18A. So from our question, what is MOA? It is molar mass of anhydrous salt and it is 142 grams per mole. What is H? H is simply 10 grams, which is mass of hydrated salt. What is A? A is simply 6.12 grams, that is mass of anhydrous salt. And basically, what, okay, basically the, the parameters that we are done with it. So let's impute into our formula. What is the MOA? It is 142 into what is H? H is 10 minus what is the mass of the anhydrous salt? That is 6.12 grams over 18 into 6.12. So let's quickly press our calculator and we'll get the answer. It is 142 times 10 minus 6.12. Okay, basically. We are getting X to be 550.96 over 18 times 6.12. 18 times 6.12, that is 110.16. So what becomes the value of X? It becomes 550.96 over 110.16. So the value of, of x becomes 5. So the answer goes to option A. So you can see how problems on this aspect are being tackled. Now the next question here, you'll be solving it and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now here is the question. Now this is the question. So basically you'll be solving it and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now I believe now you now understand better the way questions under this aspect are being tackled. If you like this video, do well to subscribe to this channel and share my videos with your friends. Thank you very much. God bless you all.